If Darwinian theory is such a poor theory, why don't more scientists reject it? There are two reasons why more scientists don't reject it. One is that if they did, they would lose um, all of their prestige within science. They would never get another research grant. Um, and if they didn't have academic tenure, they'd get fired. Uh, there is a system of thought control over this, uh, which is extremely rigid. It's worth your professional life. That's another reason why an outsider has to be the one to challenge this. So that's reason number one. There's an enforcement mechanism. And even senior people are frightened about it, and they'll tell you if you you know, get them aside where they don't think they're being overheard. The, um, the second reason uh, is ideological. The great problem is that if Darwinism isn't true, science doesn't know what is true. You see, if the, the microevolution explanation isn't extrapolated to explain all of creation, then they don't know how it could have happened, and that's intolerable. All of the philosophers of science that are writing for the modern era have explained that um, science doesn't like to have no answer. You see, they, they will prefer to stick with a, an inadequate paradigm or general theory um, rather than to say, well, we just don't know what it is because then they, they don't have any place to start uh, uh, proposing experiments, drafting grant, uh, proposals for research grants, and so on. Uh, so, so they'll stick with the false theory if the only alternative is no theory at all, and that's the situation that they're in.